Welcome to Hub Day, everybody. Good to see so many of you with us already. New season today, as people have rightly pointed out. Big season as well. We find ourselves in the French third tier. Eventually, we're going to have to make some momentum towards winning one of these top division titles. Maybe Red Star Paris of the club. I'm pretty confident that we've gone away and done a summer rebuild that gives us a good shot at promotion this season. Who knows? We might be able to make it back to back and bounce in to French League on the season afterwards. And then who knows? With a little bit of investment, a little bit of canny rebuilding, we might be able to take on the likes of PSG. Unlikely, I hear you cry. Viewers of this channel will know that we've done it before. We did it with Toulouse, granted. A bigger club than Red Star Parry, but I would absolutely not rule it out. But who knows? A back-to-back -back promotion with Parry might cause the big clubs to come a-calling. Maybe Rayo Vallecano. Maybe Hertha or Union Berlin. Maybe even Lazio or Roma or a return to England. Who is to say? We have got plenty on, by the way. Today's halftime chat is going to be a huge one. We're going to try and build one of our best 11s today. But my goodness, we're going to put a twist on today's that is... Hmm. Let's say complicated to explain. It's going to get the old grey matter working of the people in the chat. But I have full confidence in your ability to be able to come up with the greatest Premier League eleven With a twist, there's a stipulation. We're going to need all of your experience, wisdom and Googling ability to be able to come up with the best Premier League eleven that we've come up with so far. Let's welcome a few of our absolute favourites in, shall we? Craig is the first in. Good to see you, Craig. How are those Carlisle playoff sales going? Give us an update. How many are you taking so far? You've got to be confident of taking 20,000. We've got KD3 just popping in to say hi. Is at the office. Hi and bye, KD3. It's such an absolute privilege. When people are so invested in a stream save that even when they can't make it, they pop in to send their apologies. KD3, always one of our absolute favourites. The Wizard of Warsaw. We've got Got No Game. Good afternoon, hump day, new season. Bring it on. Got No Game is bringing some of that positivity that we are absolutely desperate for in this save. Taylor Made Gaming is with us. Spencer, welcome into you. Simon Thornley. King of the save idea. Good afternoon to you. Greeno eats. By the way, Greeno, catch, catch me up here. Do you always come into our chat as Greeno eats? Or do you sometimes pop in as FM Greeno? Let me get a handle on how things are going. Uh, afternoon to you anyway. Adam Robertson. Nice to see you in here. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Welcome in. Let us know where in the world you are and who in the world you support. Let us get to know you a little bit better. Craig, was 14,000 at close of play yesterday? You've got to be thinking 20, haven't you? And we've got JB Joshua Brown. Welcome in. Dragging down the average age of the viewer considerably. Unless younger Isaac turns up to do that work with him i don't think we should wait any longer let's jump straight into the stream and show you exactly what has been going on during pre-season there is much much development at the squad a lot of people have gone a lot of people have arrived some of them familiar friends we will introduce you to them soon uh, you you may even uh, you may even see some of them as we uh, we look through our preseason form, which has been good. A three 0 victory against Concarneau, who are in our division. Five 0 wins and four 0 wins against lower league sides, but then a four three victory against Chambly, who are by the way the favourites to carry off this title this season, and we beat them in preseason. Now I know it was a game with nothing on the line. But we still went out and beat them and we looked good, even though we conceded a couple of soft goals. We were 4-1 up, I believe, at one stage. Certainly we were 4-2 up. So I was pretty pleased with our performance there. Now, we also need to introduce you to the tactic. I've rebuilt 
I didn't want to keep going into season after season with the same approach. So last season with QPR, we pioneered something new, a 4-2-1-2-1. It was... It, eh, well, it was all over the shop, let's be beautifully honest, but it got us promotion to League One. Now that with Paris, we bounced in through the door, we played a 4-2-4 to try and blow the doors off and get into the playoffs. It didn't work for us. We're going with something a little bit more considered for today. We're going to show you it as well as our new signings and you can see what you make of it. We're going to try and get through our opening games of the season today as well. Greeno, you're subscribed on both channels, so could be either. You do try to remember to be on brand and use the Greeno Eats though, of course, because Greeno Eats is the future. And Greeno, new video out this week I saw, so everybody should get subscribed to Greeno's channel for their latest eatery updates doing the lord's work there when it comes to meal reviews okay now look, don't be too critical here i don't want to hear it i want to give this formation a go you tell me what you make of this i'm not a big fan of the back three but we're going with it this is the james van der Beek. uh three a defensive midfield four, including a couple of wing backs, a ball winning midfielder, and that Volante that works so well for us at QPR. You lot said that you liked Dominguez as a shadow striker. So we've retained him. We are going to use him in that role. He likes to run with the ball through the centre. He's got six goals in five games and a brace of assists during pre season. And then we're going to have two strikers, unless we want to mix it up a little bit and we can switch to the Gina Davis, which is an offset version of that. We still have the shadow striker in play. One of the forwards moves out and becomes an inside forward. But I think today we're going to go with the more conventional and more sym symmetrical James van der Beek. Let's run you through the players that we've bought in. Salty B, the man, the myth, the legend, the greatest llama on YouTube, narrowly beating llamas with hats. How goes it, sir? Well, now we're all just quickly Googling llamas with hats because that sounds like far better entertainment than what we are serving up. But welcome in, Salty. Good morning. <laughs> Shall we start from the top? Got no game. Sir Harvey has arrived on loan, I'm afraid, and we're tickling in a fair bit of his wages, I have to be honest. Uh, he was on the transfer list. He started off as a million pounds. It eventually dropped to about 425 pounds. Far too rich for our Parisian blood. I will say that up front. But we've bought him in. He's on about four and a half thousand pounds a week at QPR. We are kicking in 1.7 of that. Uh, he arrived fairly late in preseason. He played four friendlies. He's got four assists and four goals. Not a bad way for Monsieur Nibs to announce himself. Um... And I'm pretty delighted because we know that Sir Harvey brings us goals. 12 in 15 in a season ravaged by injury for QPR. 32 in 41 for us at Bromley. 13 in 27 for Birmingham. But remember, we were not around for the second half of that season. So that would have been much more if we'd have been staring his career. Look at that. An average above a seven for the last three seasons. Not getting any younger, Sir Harvey. 31 years old now. He's going to be 32 in April. I think he's still going to do a very good job for us up front this season. Pace of 14, acceleration of 13. Off the ball movement is good. And even though his composure is not great, we know that he just scores goals. Greeno, you're so right. He is the Nico Crankyar to my Harry Redknapp. Uh, I just always like to bring him in. I wasn't going to. I'm going to be completely honest. He, um, he, he was too expensive for us. And then the opportunity ar arose because he was available for loan as well as, as on the transfer list. And it just seemed like a good bit of business. Salty, going to be lurking this afternoon again. Have you in my ears whilst mowing the lawn? I'll try and speak up, Salty. I'll try and speak up for you so you can hear me over your fly mo. So Harvey Nibs is in the van. Another player that viewers of the channel might recognise. We've not had them in this journeyman career, but... 
Those of you that watched Mercenary when we were in charge of the greatest international team in Africa, Benin, might remember Angel Chibotso, who was available on a cheeky little free transfer. He's played at Juve and Inter earlier on in his career. He spent some time in Serie B with Como. He then moved to France, where he was at Amiens in the, the division above. He even played Ligue 1 football last season. They've released him. Okay, I say play Ligue 1 football. He was only ever coming off the bench, but he scored six goals in Ligue 1. And he has dropped down to join us in the third tier on 1.7k a week. This is one of my big signings. I splashed the cash here. On a lot of these signings, they are bargain basements, as you'll see as we go through but he likes the big games he's a consistent performer um i think he's going to be good i bought him in at a time and i thought we were going to play wide players i wasn't really able to find the volume or quality of right wide players to make that a workable system so he's going to have to play as either a deep line forward or a shadow striker i've got no qualms with playing him in either so that is going to be Chabotso. By the way, the legends continue to roll through the door. Welcome in, Talis. Good morning. Welcome in, Mr. Wolf Tracks. Good day to you. Uh, Spencer, speaking of Nibs, ah, oh, here we go. We just finished season two with Oxford. Nibs got 13 goals, including two on the last day, to sneak you into the playoffs. That is what Sir Harvey is capable of. Uh, let's go backwards in our team, shall we? Let's, let's jump into the strikers that we got on the bench. I've tried to fill out as many loan players as I can. Daniel Sousa is one of those. Just under £600 a week. Very, very quick. Can finish. Very composed. Good off the ball. I have no qualms about putting him into the side. He could also go out there and be a right winger if... We decide we want to switch up the system. We could always go Chibutso on the left. We could go Sousa on the right. So we've got options. We've got options. We try to make the squad as flexible as possible. Um, we've also got another lone player who I don't expect to get huge amounts of game time. Uh, this is a Maxwell Mafande. Very good in the air. Physically pretty good. Mentally some nice bits. Although the off the ball movement and the composure coupled with the finishing not great you can see why when this was the quality of wide player i had at my disposal to begin with i decided not to play with wide players but 70 bunts a week can't complain too much about that uh, let's go into the midfield where we managed to bring in malachi boteng we showed you him during the end of the last stream he was, of course, with us at QPR last season. We originally had a deal in place to bring him in on loan from Charlton when we were at Bromley. But he picked up a very nasty injury. He is going to be a battling but physically commanding central midfielder. Can also cover in the fullback areas or central defence. Alongside him, we're going to have a player that we've retained from last season, Etienne Camara, who was pretty good back end of last season and i think we'll do well this season then we've got our wing backs we spent big on harrison burrows a player we had at birmingham a player we took to qpr now a player that joins us at red star still only 28 years old third tier french football crossing a 15 for your left wing back beautiful stuff technique of 14 lots of nice physicals lots of strong mentals three assists in five already in pre-season a oh, bonjour monsieur abuse he is going to be beautiful on the other flank it was difficult it was difficult to find wide players to bring in initially the best right wing back we had was Jean-Michel Lapleau. Physically great, mentally average, technically barren. So I'm glad we managed to bring a veteran through the door who I think is going to be better. This is Hugo van der Mersch, who physically is great, mentally is solid, crossing of 12, tackling of 14, marking and positioning means defensively he will be sound. He's consistent, a leading player at this division. Can go and double up and play as an inverted fullback over on the other side. I don't know about you, but with him not having his 
32nd birthday until the season is all but done and dusted. I think we'll get him through. I think we'll squeeze him through without those physicals plunging too far down. And we're crossing a 12. And with off the ball movement of 11 and decisions of 10, I think he'll be able to do just about enough in an attacking sense for us. Two assists in the five preseason friendlies that we've played. Very pleased with that. We've retained our left back from last season, Jordan Varela. So he can cover for Harrison Burrows. In fact, I think he gives Burrow some very stiff competition and we've drastically reduced the contract that he was on. So that was a nice bit of business. We've brought in lots of other backup players like Jeffrey Lottis, only £725 a week. We've brought in Salif Gusey, £500 a week. You can spot the theme here. I've tried to find players that were better than they had on the bench last season, but at a much cheaper cost we've still got warren bondo he was on one and a half k a week we've got him in on a new deal on just one k a week so we're saving ourselves some money we've still got johan bonny who may well be a starter for us picked up a little niggle during pre-season but still very much in our thoughts new contract for him one year deal 950 pounds per week always looking to save a quid or two the only other player i think that we have retained is enzo cost who we managed to get from about 400 week down to 300 quid a week so as emergency cover that was good and our goalkeeper remains the same as last season this is nikola kuchik 925 pounds a week that'll do for us that'll do then the reason why we switched to a back three is because I think I've bought in three pretty good defenders, backed up by players like Julian Dour, only £300 a week, but I think there's a decent central defender. I think we've got three goodies. Starting over on the right-hand side, this is Gaza and Bida. Uh, good balance, great bravery, great determination, tackles well enough. The marking positioning are just about acceptable but physically i think you will agree this is no mean player i think he's going to be pretty commanding at the back played very well during pre-season picked up a couple of assists as well that's gaza over on the left side we've picked up a player from english non-league football this is elkin baggett six foot four jumping reach of 17 not quickest but otherwise physically very good mentally very solid tackling could be a little bit higher but on 1.2k a week i think that is pretty good he was with leighton orient in the national league has played at above a seven although that was in the sixth tier of english football but i think there's more than enough there to make up a very solid defense because we have our star at the back this is cory and darba who we bought to birmingham we were unable to bring him to QPR. He sat there pretty much not getting any football at Birmingham since we left. And we managed to pick him up on a free transfer when Birmingham released him. He can step into midfield. He can cover over at left wing back in an emergency. Apparently, he can go up front with finishing a four. But I don't think we'll be asking him to do that. Good player for most teams at the division above. Consistent performer as well. And coming in at just 1.2k a week, I'm not sure Corey realises his own value. Certainly, his agent has done him no favours there. He's averaging a 7.5 during preseason. I think he is going to be fabulous. Talis, he was on loan at the Jills before leaving in January to go on loan to Cheltenham. Who's that now? Is that Baggett? Oh, Baggett at the Jills. Looks like that could be a thing. Uh indonesian player actually who we looked at when we were managing the indonesian national team in a series called the diddy men where we only selected players for the national team under five foot nine inches tall elkan baggett would have been a giant amongst men in that save so we bypassed him um Greeno's off to the club shop. He wants a shirt with the number four on the back, the Gaza Strip, the Gaza Strip, Greeno. Your punnage is always welcome around here. Potential to be a good player in the league above, by the way. A little bit inconsistent, but we'll train that out of him. 
Uh, it's from the Cameroon as well, looking lovely. Titan is with us. Welcome in, Titan. Good morning. Uh, what are your eyes telling me? You're Red Star Parry. You just managed Parry FC a month ago. Please end the era of PSG. Greetings, by the way. Welcome in. The Mammoth of Malma is with us. Good to see you. Um, we are going to try and take on PSG. That's a big ask, but we're going to try. Got to get out of the third tier, first of all. Talis, he did really well for you. Shamey left, wish him well. Well, he's now ended up in Paris. Not a bad way to be spending your time. Um, uh, I You resented the series being called the Diddy Men. If five foot nine is Diddy, you must be seven foot tall. I'm not, actually. I would have qualified to have played for the Diddy Men. At, uh, well, I'd be borderline. I'm five foot eight, five foot nine in a good heel. Uh, Turpy, afternoon, you absolute bunch of legends. There's one legend in here, GT. We know who that is. Good morning. <laughs> Fabulous to have GT with us. Welcome in, sir. Great to have you along. Let's have a little look at the transfer history. Some players have left us. We got rid of a JD Gasama, £250,000. That allowed us to up the wage budget and bring in a much bigger squad, which I thought was good. We sold Philip Buai, um, and I was delighted to get money for him. I actually got £120,000, so that was great. Uh, a couple of contracts expired. We let them go. Uh, I think there were also a couple more at the back end of the season as well. So we got £120,000 for Basia Salaku. Quite happy with that. That allowed us to strengthen a little bit more. Um, we also got £10,000 for a youth player from Guangom as well. And we got busy rebuilding our squad. So... There's a little run through of the players. Let us know what you think. We've also brought a couple more in on loan just to bolster things. Serge Guimpierre. Don't expect him to get huge amounts of game time. But if you pop that into your, your defensive midfield, I think yeah, passing a six is not great, but there's a solid citizen in there if we're desperate for legs. We've got a much bigger squad than we had last season. We've got decent players on the bench. I mean... If you're looking at bringing on strikers like Daniel Sousa, I think that's good for the French third tier. If we're looking for backups in midfield and we're going to bring in Warren Bondo anywhere in those essential midfield areas, I don't think that's a bad replacement whatsoever. I think we've got good cover at left back. We've got decent cover at centre half. Right back, I have concerns. Correct. But I think we're looking in good shape. Speaking of good shape, here is our good old friend, Coach Zanko. Good morning. <laughs> Superb to see the coach in here. Welcome in, sir. Give us our daily Malia update. How's the team getting on? Is La Liga in sight? Joshua Brown, is this team better than the Toulon side that finished second? Ah, may we, JB? Ah, may we? Uh, you got to remember, all of the beautiful players that we had at Toulon, apart from Petr Moussa, they joined us when we were in Ligue 2. That's when we had all the heroes like Splinter de Moy, Elia Wahi, uh, Jordan Gilavogu. That's when all of the big people arrived. If we can get these boys up a division, they're going to be coming to us. Monkey in the Fog is with us. Welcome in. Good morning. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, but delighted to see Extractor Boys at centre-back. You're told Elkin is a lovely chap as well as being anything but a Diddy Man. He's absolutely not a Diddy Man. He's a Diddy Man with, with, with another Diddy Man on his shoulders. Yeah, I'm hoping he's going to do very well. He's just a, a stand-at-the-back-and-head-it kind of guy. We're going to be asking Corian Darba to marshal that defence and be the, the pace at the back there as well. You'll see we've got no shortage of experience in this squad as well. I've tried to put a squad together purely focused on this season. Just get us up. Get us out of this division. And then to the right-hand side, I'm thinking Mbida does a bit of everything. You know, quicker, better in the air, physically very good. I'm confident that Gaza and Mbida could actually play another division up especially with some of these traits the coaches think he's only cut out for the division below i'm gonna stake my 
you know, very slight reputation on him actually being a little bit better than that. Um, Chalice looks good. You do wonder, have you added any team bonding options in the training to help with cohesion? A few, Talis, a few. But you have to remember, we are semi-professional. So when it comes to the training, we've only got four slots two days a week. There's a lot to try and cram into that. So hopefully... A lot of the team cohesion is going to come about because we're we're winning games. The team cohesion is poor at the moment, but the club atmosphere is very good. The managerial support is average, and I think that's going to improve as we get through the next five or six games. They're already reasonably familiar with the system. So hopefully it works, and I'm not abandoning it at half time in today's opening game of the season because I realise that I cannot set up a three-at-the-back system. Jackie is with us as well. Welcome in, Jackie. Good morning. <laughs> Jackie, sadly sick at home. Our condolences to you, Jackie. Hope you get well very soon. Hopefully it's not anything too serious. Maybe we can bring a little bit of light relief to you while you are at home recuperating. Also, what is the media prediction now with the new signings? Ah, well, okay. So the media prediction, Talis is that we'll finish in exactly the same spot as we were predicted to finish before I made all of these new signings. So according to the press, we've not strengthened at all. Um, but I think compared to last season, there's far greater depth. And I think the players that are highly rated are younger and are going to be more effective, is my personal belief. We'll see how we get on in our first game today. We are going to be taking on... That's not Poe, is it? Is that Pow? Um, who are predicted to finish seventh themselves. They've just come down from the division above. They're going to be a heck of a test for us. They are going to be a challenge. Coach, today was no Malia. You had a long night. Had to do some prep work for the weekend. Super important. Ah, uh, well, sounds like an exciting weekend, Zanko. Is that going to be handball related, I wonder? Will you be renaming your formations after the likes of... Vanessa Paradis, Jean Renault, and Jean-Michel Jarre. The Tubular Bells. Is that right, Tubular Bells? Did Jean-Michel Jarre do the, do the Exorcist, or am I, am I way out on that? Uh, JB is still sick. Alarma Stream, well, I'd imagine a Alarma Stream makes things significantly worse, but I imagine you, you're a man of great fortitude, JB, to battle back in here and sit through this absolute chaos when you are feeling a little bit under the weather. Again, hope you get well soon. Uh, did you get any good young players from the youth intake? No, that's a hard no. An absolute hard, hard no. Uh, the youth intake was already here before we arrived at the club, and it's a barren wasteland. Is Paulson still in the division is a question. He's a year older if he is. So he blew us away with Ajaccio, didn't he? So let's see whether he's still knocking around there. Um, maybe, maybe he's not, actually. Uh, let's have a little look in the transfer history. Let's have a look at the released players. No. Uh, can I spell Yusef? Is it two Fs? A bit of pulsing on the end. He, he, do you know what? He could have retired. He could have retired because he was old. Um, oh, no. I was just spelling it wrong. He's an assistant manager. An unemployed one at that. He saw out his career on Corsica, having moved from Sporting Club Portugal. Did well, though, didn't he? Averaged above a seven. Um... What else have we got? JB, you've listened to both Season 1, Episode 1 and Season 3, Episode 1 of Border Adventures at least 10 times each. I'm glad that they bring some 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 comfort. Oh, Greeno, here we go. Tubular Bells, that's Mike Oldfield. Jar is oxygen, magnetic fields. Got to love a laser heart. So, Jean-Michel Jar is the guy that plays keyboards and just puts on a big light show. Is that right? Uh, I think it said he retired. There you go, Talis. You worked that out before I did, my friend. 
Well done on that. Okay, let's hurtle our way towards the weekend. We are taking on what I'm going to say is POW. There is a, a place in France called PO, but I don't think that's it, is it? I think PO is just P-O. So I'm going to say this is POW. If any of you have inside knowledge on pronunciations of these places, please feel free to send them in my direction as we go. You know... I struggle with these things. I'm English. I'm English. We, we play the game aggressively, you know. It's it's normal for us. Let's be brutally honest. I'm using a lot of English words with a French accent and thinking I'm getting away with things. That's absolutely not the case. Ah, we'll breeze through all of this. Hopefully we don't pick up any knocks or niggles on the last day of training. Um, Talis, after that Ajaccio match, you did spot something saying he retired on a high. Well, he really did, didn't he? I mean, he destroyed our chances. What are we thinking here, then? Uh, we are not the favourites. Okay. Uh, we're, we're travelling away. And we're not fancied by the press for this. They think the opposition are going to do us. So, we're up against it here. After that, we're taking on Borg Perona. Then Avranche. It's hard to get a read on how good these clubs are. Auxerre lost their promotion playoff match against a team from the division above. I think it was Niort that beat them. So Auxerre are going to be at our level this season. Uh, Chambly are the favourites. They've come down from the division above. Le Mans have come up from the fourth tier, but Le Mans are a big club. You know, they've played top flight football in real life in the last few years. So, you know. They're decent. I even think Set have won the French title, haven't they? Uh, twice. Uh, in the 1930s, but still. Two Coupe de France and two Ligue 1 titles. That shows they're not to be messed with. Grenoble are an also they are a reasonably big side. So, you know, there's some, some juggernauts for us to try and get past. Fortunately, there are two promotion spots. Bastia are at this level as well. I mean, they are another... Former French Cup winners, I think. There we go. Played European football, Bastia. I've got a feeling Bastia have even reached a European final. It might even have been the, the 82 Cup Winners' Cup final. Maybe it was longer ago than that. I'm sure somebody with the power of Google can let us know down in the chat. Um, Talis, surprised to see Bastia down there. Well, they're a yo-yo club in real life, aren't they? They bounce between the... The division's pretty readily. Certainly the biggest club in Corsica, though, in terms of accomplishments. So there they go. Right. Let's get to game day. Um, I'd love to start it off with a win. I'd love to start it off with a big win as well. Uh, you're not doing very well in training, are you? Neither's Etienne Camara. Um, by the way, we are really hamstrung, by the way, that we only have one coach at the club. We've got an assistant manager and one coach. That's it. And they won't give me any more. I didn't even have the option to ask for more. Uh, the sooner we can get a couple more coaches through the door, the better. Uh, very disappointed. Thank you. Uh, I mean, let's just let's just go in and see whether we, we can ask for one now. But during pre-season, it would not let us uh, staff... No, we can ask to increase their wages, but we can't get any extra ones in. And so we've got a performance analyst. We've got a coach that we bought in. We've got an assistant manager and then a head of youth development. So we're, we're coaching with just two men in the role here. Uh, struggling a little bit. Struggling a little bit. The biggest surprise is Le Mans being so low. They were in the fourth tier, Talis, last year. So they've got a promotion up to this level. They've been even further down than that. Birmingham are accepting offers for Zach Medley. Yeah. A bit rich for our taste, old Zach. And I think, you know, with Corey and Darber at the back there, I think we're set. I'm happy to go through deadline day without making another signing. Let's show you the budgets, by the way. We're right up it. Uh, I was able to sell some players and I lifted the wage budget from just over £25,000 a week to just under, just touching £30,000 a week. I've managed to bring us in just narrowly under that. Um, we got a bit of money in the bank. We're going to hemorrhage cash throughout the season, I would imagine, unless we get a big cup tie. But I think the squad's good. 
I think we will lose some of these lone players. They will get recalled if they're not getting enough football. Again, I'm prepared to accept that and then go again for lone players in January. Um, what happened to them to implode so badly? I don't know where they start the game. Um, so where are we? 2022-23. So they're in the Nacional in real life. They came down from Ligue 2 in 2020. They're in Ligue 1 in 2010. Uh, never, never won a trophy, Le Mans. They've been working at it 24 hours a day, 24 hours a day at Le Mans. Soccer scenario is good to see you, sir. Good morning. Hope you are well. Hope you are well. Um, okay, we're ready. Um, everybody's fit, apart from Bonnie. That's fine. We'll leave him out of the squad. We also need to get some of these players available, don't we? Let's set this up now. Let's get them available for our second team. Uh, so they get at least a little bit of match fitness. So the keepers, I don't mind if they play a full 90. Uh, available for the second team. Okay, Julian Dor. Well, I don't have him on the bench, do I? So let's go with... What should we say? Should we say 45 minutes for some of these better players? Uh, Lottis. We'll go 60. Gosset, I reckon he's going to get a bit of game time. I think he's going to come into the midfield fairly frequently. So let's say just play 45 minutes for the reserves. Bondo is going to get game time. I liked Bondo towards the back end of last season. So let's say just play the 45 minutes. Daniel Sousa is going to get a lot of game time as well. So... I mean, I might even be starting Sousa, so we could take that off. And then people like Julian Dour might not play quite as often. So get out there for the full 90 minutes. Laplu is not going to play very often at all. So get out there for the full 90. By the way, can I... Can I do this for multiple players all at once? You're probably already screaming at me. Uh, can I do that? I can, I can, I can, I can. So you can both go 90 minutes as well. In fact, no, no, no. What am I doing? <laughs> You're going to be in this team, aren't you? So let's say you don't play at all. But these two, they can both play. There we go. Look at me setting things up there. Look at that. A bit of investment in time. Fascinating to watch, I realise. But we're going to have some fit substitutes later on in the season. Um, Coach, so did you do any research with stuff we talked last week? Coach, the, the ball is well and truly in your court, my friend. I think you need to, you, you need to, I can't say too much, can I, coach? I don't want to give things away, but I think you just need to decide. I reckon there's some great options there, but you know logistically what would work a little bit better for you. Uh, got no game. Will Lamar have the endurance for the season ahead? Got no game. Very much appreciated. Ruggio. Good morning. <laughs> We are very, very well, Ruggio. But more importantly, how is Norfolk on this fine afternoon? Where I am, what a beautiful hump day it is. Sun is shining, beautiful weather. I'd imagine in Norfolk it's that amplified, isn't it? Um, what else have we got? Simon, they missed a trick not calling themselves harassing Le Mans. You're right. Sean's with us. Good morning. <laughs> Sean, I imagine you've got to be, you've got to be one happy hammer, haven't you? You've got to be one happy hammer with the end of the season you've had. Coach, oh, you're talking with the stuff that I, right, sorry, coach, cross wires. Yeah, I can't talk about that, coach. I can't talk about it. Uh, I asked a, a few people their opinions on a similar thing in different countries, coach. I can't talk about it. Top secret, top secret. Uh, Rujo, Norfolk is beautiful today. The sun is good. I'd imagine. I imagine. How far from the coast are you, Rujo? I imagine the summertime. 
You can just head over to the coast at times and it must be beautiful. Legends are arriving. JWM. Good day to you. <laughs> Missed a few streams. You missed nothing, J J M like J W. I'll tell you what you missed, JWM, actually. I'm gonna show you what you missed. Um we were managing QPR. Uh there we go, my profile. We were managing QPR, uh, Queen's Park Rangers in League Two. And we had a player that we named in your honour. Well, or he's named in your honour, Jack Wells Morrison. We were calling him JWM. And he did very well for us, old JWM. Six assists, eight goals, 42 appearances. Helped QPR back into League One. And then we ditched them and we moved out to Paris to take over Red Star. But JWM, the footballer. Uh, Gary, the sun, what's that? It's coming to Scotland, Gary. You're going to have a beautiful summer, I'm sure. Coach, yeah, you'll, you'll understand more in a couple of weeks when i've pulled off pulled off a very big video coach uh soccer scenario secrets yeah moderate secrets don't get too excited it's not that good uh sean since the start of the year yeah, i know we're all behind moyes now aren't we uh luke hall is with us welcome in luke good morning <laughs> uh rujo 45 minutes from the coast very lucky to have some lovely beaches uh, I don't know North Norfolk as well as I should, Ruggio. I know Hun Stanton. I know that's on the North Coast, isn't it? Um, I don't know what other what other kind of like seaside resorts you have up there, but I'm very jealous. Uh, the Sleeping Dragoon. God, they're all rolling in. Good morning. <laughs> Just been doing some gardening. Is that Monsieur Nibs that you see? Yes, wearing the green of Red Star. Four assists, four goals, four games in pre-season. Bought him in on loan from QPR because, well, every time we sign him for a club, we then leave and the club don't want him. But we're delighted to have him. And he's going to make his competitive debut right now. JWM honoured. His photo can take pride of place on the mantelpiece next to your swimming certificates. You worked hard for that 20 metre backstroke badge, though. Don't knock it. Rook's not here. Rook's not awake. Never mind, Rook. We're still pleased that you're around. Good morning. <laughs> it really is a who's who of the chat today. Uh, 11 likes as well. Got you beautiful people. 86 people have dropped by. And I'm 47 minutes into the stream and I've not played a game yet. And still nearly 100 of you have visited. That's pretty nice, that. Okay. Team talk time. Forgive me if I now focus. Uh, I might up the old match highlights as well. I think I was on key highlights for my last friendly. Go out there and impress me. Oh, how badly do I want Harvey Nibs to score? Oh, look, another player from Benin. Sassy D. Almeida. He's, he's going to know our mate Chabotzi. They're both from Benin, I think, aren't they? Only got three hours sleep. Goodness me, Rock, that does not sound good. Um, he used to play for Barnsley, Sassy D. Almeida. He did, he did, he did. He's, but he's a Benin boy. I knew I recognised him. 34 years old now. Um, oh, he's been here a while, hasn't he? There we go, Simon. Play for Yeovil. Barnsley, PSG, Bordeaux. Bit of pedigree there, isn't there? Bit of pedigree. He's aging, though. Uh, oh, they're playing the same formation as us here. Okay, this will be interesting to see how our formation matches up then. Uh, we'll go... We'll just go extended. And let's get these on. Oh, not quick enough. Okay, here we go. Umbida, Van der Mersch. Let's get to know our new players. Let's see them in action. I've been watching them throughout pre-season, but this is your first glimpse of what is likely to be some absolute heroes of the save that help us storm up the leagues into Ligue 1. Chibotso didn't fancy jumping for that, did he? Bangora to Jesse Leonard. Oh, I thought we could have won the ball there. There's that De Almeida that we highlighted, the Benin boy. Harrison Burrows does not fancy a tackle. None of our players fancy a tackle. 
And Piccolo gets the ball through. Don't worry. There's our man at the back. There's Gaza. Okay, let's pause. Let's get off this rubbish. France. Oh, oh, oh. Bit eager there. Bit eager. Let's get the Nacional results. Chambly already a goal up. They're going to be big this season, I think. Chambly. Dragoon. Oh, you missed the Benin boys. We all missed the Benin boys. JM Thoughts, if he pops in. He was literally apoplectic that I didn't stay for a second season at Benin. He loved it there. We were building something, but that's the nature of the mercenary. You can only stay for 12 months max and then you're off. That's some very poor attacking play. Ashby Hammond is in goal for them. Ashby Hammond. He's English. Fulham Stockport Aldershot goes out and plays in France. Good on you. Um, anyway, I've got to stop getting sucked into looking at opposition players just because I think they have an interesting name. We need a goal. Let's settle everything down. Here we go. The press does not look high enough. Or the press looks a bit split, doesn't it? Strikers are a bit high there. But Dominguez, shadow striker. Oh, he's blazed it. Oh, he's blazed it over the bar. Come on. Come on, let's open them up again. Leonard, let's win the ball and counter. Here we go. It's, it's happening now. Bangura, Leonard. Okay, their, their wing backs are getting space and they're in. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, you're not being Kocic like that. Okay, uh, we pause. I don't like using the shouts, but we're going to ask for a bit more. Uh, reasonable body language, reasonable response, especially from the strikers. Here we go. Bugsy Burrows to Chibotso. Chibotso does not fancy it at all today. Um, is that Elkin Baggett there who didn't fancy the header as well? Great. Jumping reach of 17. Um, oh, we've robbed it. Boateng. Come on, Malachi. Here we go. Chibotso slows the play down. Unfortunate. Is that centre half? He's very high at the pitch, isn't he? Vandermeer's Chibotso. Maybe he does fancy it. Hello. 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 Oh, he's chucked it away. Chibotso has actually done well there, I think, hasn't he? Compose, gets to the byline, checks back, checks back twice, rolls it over, and there's the shadow striker. Now, look, I am going to say the deployment of a shadow striker is all you lot. I've had no luck, not just with shadow strikers, but with AMs in general. I played one in FM20 with Lucerne and got it working there but since FM21 not a stitch everybody else raves about Shadow Strikers I can't get anything out of any DM oh god I thought we'd given away a penalty then it's a corner but I reckon Dominguez could be good in that role we're playing a deep line forward and a target forward on attack. That's unconventional goalkeeping. So both of those roles are going to drop off on occasion. The target forward's going to come deep and then attack the box. The deep line forward is naturally going to come and try and link up play. So the opportunities for that shadow striker to run in behind, I think, could be quite regular. Baggett gets up. Oh, he's clipped the bar. Elkan Baggett with his first little glimpse of what he can do in the opposition box. Chambly 2-0 up. Auxerre 1-0 up. These are the teams we're going to be competing with this season, I think. We are 1-0 up at the break. Very, very nice. Uh, Rook, work was not very fun. They made you ride. Uh, they made myself ride when you got home. Uh, Greeno, is your trajectory... If your trajectory is PSG to Yeovil, you have to wonder if you're in the right job. That's a shocking besmirchment of what's good about Yeovil. Um, I think you'll find they went from non-league football to the championship in the space of a decade. I think you'll also find they went from the championship back down to tier six in the space of a decade as well. But what a 20 years. Um Soccer scenarios, you're interested to see how this tactic does. 
cautious, I think, aren't we? Uh, you're thinking of playing something similar. Well, that's good. That somebody that actually understands the game is thinking about doing something similar. I like the way you say similar and not the same. Um, please don't get complacent. Harvey Nibs, please do better than a 6.6. .6. Elkham Bagger, I think you need, need to pick it up a little bit. And Harrison Burrows does not look good over there at left wing back. Uh... Dragoon, is your goalkeeper called what you think he's called? A bit of a... Ah. Kocic. Perfectly innocent. Perfectly innocent. Bugsy Burrows has just done some decent defending there. That's good. Okay, here we come again. Here's Elkham Baggett. This is our centre-half. Very far up the pitch. And here is Sir Harvey. You're going to have to tee somebody up here, I think, halves. No? Okay. All right. That was a, that was a highlight, apparently. Um, we're going to need reinforcements at some point. Harvey Nibs looks like could be the striker making way on his debut. Well, do we write him off too early? Because here he comes. Charging down the wing to Burrows. It's an it's an English-speaking left-hand side of the pitch. Chabotso gets up. Heads at goal. Good effort. Keeper plucks it out the air. Okay, 65, 65-ish. Let's have a look what needs to be done fitness-wise. Van der Mesh. Struggling a little. Um, okay, he's going to need some rotation at his age, isn't he? We'll get him through this game. We might bring the youngster in for the next game. Etienne Kamara. That's not great. Let's get Salif Gosse out there. Sir Harvey, not playing very well, are you, sir? Uh, Daniel Souza. Okay, let's go out there and see if that will... Uh, how many players left and how many did you bring in? Good question. I think with players being released, it was at least 10. And I think coming in, it's going to be closer to 15, 16. Uh, we've only got three subs at this level, by the way. So I've got to keep one back. One of the days of League 2 football, where we have five substitutions that we could enjoy on a weekly basis. Malachi Boateng, that's exactly why he's in the team. Wins the ball, gives it to a player with a bit more technical ability. Dominguez storms forward. Here comes our Segundo. Here comes our left wing back. Here comes our shadow striker. Could have squared it to Chabotso and he had a tap in instead. He's ruffled the goalkeeper. Stung his palms. It's not gone in though. Baggett has played a 1-2 with Dominguez. Unconventional. And he's offside. Work to do on those set pieces, I would say. I don't know where you sit on that particular debate. They've not hit the target with a shot yet, but this 1-0 lead is a little bit fragile. Bugsy Burrows gives the ball away and wins it back and gives it away. Uh, an eventful 10 seconds of play by him. Here's Gene. Angora. Don't go and press him too high up. Don't press him too high up. You just sit. Uh, stay in your shape, boys. Uh, uh, okay, we're away. We're away and we're countering. And here he goes. Here is the substitute. Has he got the pace? Oh, he has. I'm pretty pleased with that. We've gone from our own box. And having those three players up front, I think we're pretty potent on the counter. And Sousa, well, he's come off the bench. And I tell you what, he's rifled one home. Could be pushing Sir Harvey for a starting spot. As if such a thing is possible. Uh, Chabotso is struggling. Malachi Boateng is struggling. Let's get Warren Bond, though, on. Warren Bond, though, doesn't love playing as a defensive midfielder. He wants to play a bit further forward, but... I'm going to play him as a volante, so at least he moves into those central midfield areas. Um... So you spent all of the war chest? No, I spent none of the war chest. I don't think I signed anybody for cash. I just shoveled... Just shoveled it all into the wage budget so that we could bring in a, a larger squad. You can see how tired some of these players are. We're going to need some rotation. I've bought in a few over 30s as well, so we're going to need some rotation. Um, by the way, I love the name Piccolo. Piccolo to Bertrand. Uh, some defending to do here, and we've not done it. That's a heck of a strike. That sets up. An interesting last few minutes, doesn't it? Um, 
Ouch. No clean sheet then, eh? And they've gone... We were exposed at the back there, aren't we? There was a three on two for a moment. We recover. And I guess that's a low percentage chance. But our goalkeeper's been beaten a little easily there. And is that... Oh, that's Bondo. Looks like we might have been done by a set piece there. Was that our attacking corner? Not even at the 90 yet. Don't give this away, boys. That'd be a disaster. Sousa. Baggett. And Darba. Mm, that's a little aimless, isn't it? Oh dear. Piccolo's coming. He, he likes to run for. Oh, hang on. There's gaps all. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Right. Oh, there's gaps all over the shop. Okay. So. You can certainly go and play there. And you can certainly go and play there. Let's solidify things just a little. Um, let's have players... That, okay, in fact, let's have players that are just going to sit in a little bit. Here we go. Are you going to move for me? There we go. Um, that's better. There we go. That looks a bit more resilient, I would say. Three subs. Part-time training. Going to be tough if the games come thick and fast. It's... Uh, what are we on here? Is it a 30-game season, though? It's either a 30 or a 34-game season. So I'm hoping we should be able to navigate it. Maybe if we can sell a player. Which I'm not sure who that would be, considering... Pretty much everybody that was bought in, we're going to want. I feel like we're struggling towards the final whistle here. Yeah, I think we'll probably struggle to raise funds. But if we could get maybe one or two more in, I'm pretty confident. I think we'll be okay. A lot of the players we bought in that are backup players are very versatile. Dominguez, for example, he could go and play as a striker. We've got Bondo, who can play in central or attacking midfield or in wide areas. We've got three goalkeepers. I've got a backup for each of the three centre-halves. I've got three backup midfielders for the two midfielders that we're playing. So, I think we're okay. You know, we've got two real quality strikers in the form of Sousa and Bonnie, who's not even in the matchday squad today. So, that looks pretty good. Uh, let's keep morale going. Uh, you'll hope to check back in before you're done. Need to start a kickball game. I don't know what a kickball game is. Sounds very US high school. Um, so, the usual suspects have done well today. 2-0 win for Chambly. 2-0 win for Auxerre. Avranche, we've got coming up as well. So, that, that could be a tough game. But we're up and running. We've won our first game. That's not bad. That's not bad. Um, maybe time to get you working, though, I reckon. Um, time for a little worky-worky for you people. So, um, let's give you today's half-time team talk. I thought it was about time we got another of our best 11s going. This is going to be a best 11 with a twist. So, see how you get on with this one. Um, it's going to require a little bit of explaining, I think. Um, we're going to go with a Premier League best 11 with a difference. Okay, so it's people that have played in the Premier League era. Uh, but um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I was thinking an all time greatest Premier League team of players who have the same last name as somebody else in the squad. But I'm thinking they can't be related. So no Rion, Rio and Anton Ferdinand. More like players of, well, we could have David James in goal and Rhys James at right back because I don't believe they are related at all. Um, so players with the same name, but not the same name as somebody they are related to. 
let's have a little look. What have you got for me? In fact, in fact, um, if we jump in, we could start putting some little musings in there. What have we got? TaylorMade Gaming. Joe, there we go. That's quality. So let's do what Sven Goran Eriksson would do and let's try and play Joe Cole as a left winger. That could be a thing. Uh, linking up as an all coal lineup with with Ashley. I tell you what, I mean that's one of the best left backs in England at that time. And Andy Cole. We couldn't have Devante Cole. I think he likes preferred Andrew, doesn't he? There we go. That's nice. That's nice. Um John Barnes and Harvey Barnes is such a superb they actually play the same position don't they really um so digger barnes in one of my favorite players digger barnes and then okay well we'll have to have a think about positions so harvey barnes is more of a wide player isn't he but that's a good shout that that makes us pretty competitive have a little think about your Barneses as well. Roy Keane and Robbie Keane makes this a dream of a midfield. Well done. Who's that, by the way? Evo Illustration. What a suggestion. Roy Keane potentially skippering the side. By the way, we've got to get a coach in here as well. We've got to get a coach. Uh, we get Robbie Keane in. Um, lovely stuff. We're going to need some defenders at some point, though. Oh, hang on. Ferran Torres and Fernando Torres by the Dragoon. We're getting a very attacking lineup now, aren't we? Um, Does that knock anybody out? Because those are two strikers. Kyle Walker and Ian Walker. Okay, give me your opinions in the chat, then. Kyle Walker and Ian Walker... Is that a better duo than David James and Reese James? Because that's nice, because that's goalkeeper right back. We got choices of goalkeeper right back. So we could go David James and Reese James, or we could go Ian Walker and Kyle Walker. Um, Roy Carroll and Andy Carroll, couple of West Ham boys. Pretty sure Roy Carroll had a little spell. Kevin Phillips and Calvin Phillips is nice as well. Um... I do like the idea of trying to get Torres in there. You're not going to... What we could do is we could take out Andrew Cole. Still keep Ashley and Joe in. And we could go Fernando Torres. And I think... I don't know. Would people say Fernando Torres is better than Andrew Cole? And then... I don't know. Does that mean that Harvey Barnes and John Barnes are going to drop out? could do is he is he called ferran torres is that his name by the way i'm just scrolling up scrolling up um yeah ferran torres which looks pretty nice by the way i can see people striking gold down here tiago silva and david silva i'm not sure tiago's quite been at his best in the premier league but as a career superb and a player who absolutely was at their best yeah i'm i'm, a, I'm i reckon old digger barnes might be missing out here david silver goes in now this is looking like a team we need a center half and a coach if we go what are we thinking then tony adams and che adams oh che adams apologies rico henry would get us thierry henry Marcus Alonso would get a Xavi Alonso. Um, I think, so let's go David James, which I realise is a questionable one. But it's not like Ian Walker had a stellar career. Uh, have I spelt Reese right, by the way, for Reese James? Is he a C rather than an S? So that looks nice. Uh, it's a decent shape as well. I think we might have to switch Joe Cole to play in midfield alongside Roy Keane. I'd have to get 
Fer and Torres out on one of the wings. I think Silva and Torres might actually rotate in a 4-4-2, but that could be nice. Big Duncan Ferguson gets you Alex Ferguson as coach. Stuart Pierce gets you, well, Ian Pierce, I'd say, gets you Stuart Pierce. Um, we can't play Duncan Ferguson as a centre half, though, can we? Can we? Could we? By the way, welcome in G GB. Welcome in Seamus01. Oh, sorry, Seamus01, Seamus01. So good, they named that person twice. Welcome in, good to see you. If anybody can give me Tony Adams, Mickey Adams is now a shout. I once saw, Mickey Adams lives very near me. I once saw him in home base getting uh, some, some wood stain for his shed. Um, Tony Adams would be great. Can you bring me a better manager than Mickey Adams? Uh, Richard Wright and Ian Wright would definitely uh, Ian yeah Ian Wright's an upgrade on Robbie Keane but then we'd be losing Roy Keane that's a problem surely we can come up with a better coach than Mickey Adams here couldn't we um, no, no offence to, to Mickey Adams and I might have called them Mikey. Is that is that Mickey or is that Mikey? Um, that looks good. I'm just not sure we got the coach. Uh, Marco Silva would be a better coach, but then we can't have Tony Adams. Ah, oh. um, Marco Silva would be good as a coach, much better coach. But then we lose Tony Adams. Can you bring me another centre-half that's not Tony Adams that fits in with a name we've already got here? Or do we play with three at the back and bring in Andy Cole? That could be a thing. Harry and Jamie Redout. Can't, they can't be related. Can't be related. Got to be people who are not related. Why am I putting Marcus Alonso as our coach? No, 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 no. Marco Silva is the coach. Which means we've just lost Tony Adams. His stay with us was brief. But could we rejig? Thiago Silva has a lot of work. Reese James can play centre half. I'm not sure Ashley Cole can. Uh, but good luck to you there, Ashley. Emmy Martinez and Robert. Emmy, well, I'm not keen on Roberto Martinez, but he does fail upwards. Jose Mourinho, who's Alan? Who's Alan Mourinho? Pretty sure Alan Mourinho played a sub appearance for Blackburn in the 90s. Are you sure there was a player called Alan Mourinho? Um, this gives us a spot up for grabs then. Is there another silver? Is there another Cole? There's Andy Cole. We could go 3-4-3. Three, three. Let's... In fact... Robbie Keane was always a drop-off kind of striker, I think. There we go. Sorry, Robbie. And then you get Andrew Cole in as well. And now you're cooking on propane. Not gas, but propane. Does that work? Is that a team with a coach? Everybody's got the same name as somebody else. James and James, Silver, 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 Cole, 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 Keen, Keen, Torres, Torres, Aaron Hughes and Mark Hughes, and there's a Carlton Cole. Carlton Cole's first off the bench then. Um, Mark Hughes and Aaron Hughes is interesting. You'd have to have Mark Hughes as your coach. And he was a much better player than he was a coach. And Aaron Hughes was very old. And got a lot of cats for Northern Ireland. But I'm not... I reckon that could be as good as we get it, you know. Uh, have a little look at the team on screen right now. Who captains us? Who captains us? 
Roy Keane is the obvious standout, but he's a controversial choice. He would, uh, he would, he would divide the dressing room. I think Thiago Silva could skip to the side. Robbie Keane, I've got no game. Would want Robbie Keane skipper in the side. Um, we can tell you what we got creativity for days in midfield. We got goals in there. I'm worried about this defence. Uh, Ashley Cole is going to have work to do as a left-sided centre half. You're going to go Roy Keane or Thiago for you. Keane, Keane as player manager, could be Nathan Jones and Phil Jones. <laughs> I, I'm not having either of those near this squad. Um, should we give Roy Keane the band then? I think we would be dividing the dressing room somewhat. Uh, but he, he was a leader, wasn't he? Definitely a leader. Uh, oh, goodness me. What have you done there? Let's actually get it written. There we go. Then we can faff around. We're making it look pretty. Nice. I like that as a team. I'm going to say I quite like that. There would probably be trouble if you didn't get... Yeah, I think, yeah, Roy Keane actually put in a vote and said, I should be captain. I've just given it to Robbie Keane, I've noticed, haven't I? That's an error. Uh, let's take that. Sorry, Robbie. You thought you were in there. You thought you were captain. Not, not quite, son. Not quite. Uh, can we squeeze that in at the end there? There we go. There we go. We'll take it. Roy is definitely... Yeah, I, yeah. Johnny Evans and Roy Evans. Greeno. That's a late shout. Johnny Evans. Good centre half. Roy Evans. Uh, am I right? Roy Evans is no longer with us. By the way, nobody said Brian Robson and Sir Bobby Robson. Surely that would stiffen up the midfield a little bit, wouldn't it? You get Brian Robson in there, Sir Bobby as coach. What? Brian Robson or Joe Cole? Brian Robson or Joe Cole? And does Brian Robson become your captain? Because I'm thinking Sir Bobby, uh, European Cup Winners' Cup winner, Eredivisie winner, Liga Portugal winner. Spanish Cup winner. World Cup semi-finalist. Surely Sir Bobby gets in above Marco Silva. And surely Brian Robson gets in. Stephen, Stephen Alex, we can't have Stephen Alex Bruce. They're related. Big upgrading manager. Are we saying that Brian Robson's an upgrade on Joe Cole? I think we've got to be, haven't we? Brian Robson over Robbie Keane. But then, then we can't have Roy Keane. Roy Keane, Robbie Keane brings us, brings us Roy. I think we're making a last-minute change here. Let's give him full name, Sir Bobby. A knight of the realm in there as well. Gary Neville <laughs> and Neville Southall. Um, and let go. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think we do this. Oh, help me out. Is Brian with an I? Is he one of those Brians? I think he is. He's an old school Brian. Brian Robson. See, Brian Robson and Roy Keane in midfield. You're not messing with that. Fer Ferran Torres, Robbie Keane, David Silva, creativity. Andrew Cole, Fernando Torres, lethal finishers. Reese James Pace, Thiago Silva positioning. Ashley Cole. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's a Brian with a Y. Is he a Brian with a Y? Stockton on T's, I think he's from, isn't he? Um, the lack of Amiobis in this side. But the Amiobis are related. We're trying to do players with the same name who are not related. So David Silva and Thiago Silva, not related. Reese James, David James, not related. Goalkeeper is the weak link. Um, yeah, I'd agree. I'd agree, but I think David James is better than Ian Walker. I think. I think. I reckon that's a team, people. I reckon that's a decent team. Um, 
we, we, we need to get back to some football manager as well eventually um let me just uh quickly download that we can let twitter do its worst on that shortly after the stream they will tear it apart they always do uh they always criticize me for for players that the chat have voted on um there we go there we go there we go 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 and Oh, that, we, we need to get back. We need to get back into the game. Roy and Robbie are surely bro They're not brothers. They're not brothers. Uh, it's a Y. Okay, yeah. So we're happy with the Brian as a Y. Roy and Robbie, no. Ke Keynes in Ireland are like Smiths in England. Ten a penny. Um, okay, we are taking on Borg Perone next. Par Perone? Perone? Peroni. Uh, we're going to let that transfer deadline come and go. We're not concerned with that. Where are our opponents then? How did they do? They came. They must have got a win or a draw, I reckon, because they're seven. Two two was set. Okay. Tell you what. Struggled in pre season against some B teams, didn't they? And a non league team, I'm guessing. Come on. we got to go for a win then. I want to make a strong start. I want to get Sir Harvey Nibs scoring. What have we got here, Ruck? The J-League needs to stop starting. Stop starting? Can you stop starting? Stop starting matches just before you get off work. Ah, it's like catnip to you, isn't it? Who's playing, Rook? Come on, what have you got on your other screens? Who's playing? you got some uh, Yokohama Marinos. A bit of Jubala Iwata. By the way, I've got a video coming out with our good friend Soccer Scenarios. And uh, you can manage some uh, some Japanese teams in that video. Going to be good. I'm excited about that video. That one's going to be coming out any day as soon as I get it back from my, uh, my little magician. It's the Urua Red Diamonds versus Kawasaki Frontal. Urua Red Diamonds, I believe, have won the Asian Champions League in the past, haven't they? Okay, and then we got Avranche, who clearly had a good win on the opening day of the season because they're second. Let's get through both of those games this stream, I think. And then our season is underway. Oh, they won it this year. Well, there you go. I'm very on point. Am I going to be right, Rook, that that's not their first... They're not, that's not their first Asian Champions League, then? I'm sure I remember them winning it in the past. Uh, 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 uh. It's a cup game today, is it? Okay. What do they call the cup in Japan? Is it the Emperor's Cup or have I made that up? There's a lot rattling around in there, as we know. Sometimes it all gets a little bit muddled. Okay, we've got Daniel Sousa, who scored in the first game. Am I bringing him in? In place of Sir Harvey Nibs? I'm not doing that, am I? And this is Sir Harvey we're talking about. He just needs to, to learn to parlay a little and then he's going to come good. That right back, I was... I think, yeah, okay, let's get a right back on the bench. In place of a left back, let's do that. Because I think our ageing right back, Hugo van der Masch, he's going to need subbing off in a lot of games. Uh, oh, they've won it a few times. There we go, I thought so. Uh, England squad just been announced. Can someone explain how Sam Johnston gets a call up while Nick Pope is left out? Greeno, do not, do not put the word Southgate gone mad. Do not. Um, what are we up to, Greeno? Are we playing some friendlies? If we're playing some friendlies, that'll be why. One is the Emperor's Cup. Hey, so I was right. Uh, this match is for the Levain Cup. What are England up to? If it's just friendlies, that's why he's experimenting. I don't understand. We know I cannot engage in chats about Gareth Southgate. But let's just let's just go through his body of work here. 
Okay, it's Euro 2024 qualifiers. All right, fine. Uh, <laughs> um, Pope's injured. Thank you, Fairly Determined. Thank you, Christopher. Riding to the rescue. Let's just go back through some of the questions. Look, you've got, you're not allowed to get me talking about Gareth Southgate because we know what happens. But let's go back in time to the Euros. Why isn't he playing Jadon Sancho? He's had a great season at Dortmund. He doesn't play Jadon Sancho, Sancho much. He moves to Manchester United. Does he do much of note? No. Hindsight, was that a good call? I'd argue. He doesn't play Grealish much during the Euros. Grealish moves to Manchester City. Does he do much in his first season at Manchester City? No. Does he then star during the World Cup? Yes. Does he then go on to have a very successful season for Manchester City? Yes. Southgate's like a voyeur. Um, who else has he got? Oh, why is he not taking Tomori? Come on, he's just won Serie A. He doesn't take Tomori after he's won Serie A. Does Tomori then go on and have a good season for Milan? Arguably not. Was he all at sea in that semi-final, both legs against Internazionale? Yes. Was he owned by a 43-year-old Edin Dzeko? Yes. Maybe Southgate knows a thing or two. Yes. He takes, <laughs> he takes Harry Maguire to the World Cup. Terrible decision. Does Maguire have an outstanding World Cup? Yeah, I think he does. Does he stick with John Stones when John Stones is making mistakes for Man City? He does. But then does John Stones play well at the World Cup and then go on and have a great season in Manchester City? I think he does. Anyway. Anyway, don't get... Just don't. Just don't. Just don't. It's Malta and North Macedonia. Tell you what, North Macedonia are all right, though, aren't they? Uh, putting a cabinet together now, but to decide, do it in the house or out in the sun with a 250 milliliter bottle of Lidl's finest offering of San Bertan. You're outside already, aren't you, Salty? Let's be brutally honest here. Uh, Avram Grant and Lee Grant. Yeah, I can't see working. Uh, always inside, outside is evil. Uh, he's called Dunk up again, so he's a genius as far as you're concerned. Uh, uh, anyway, look, I've been quoted on it before. People just don't understand Southgate. They don't understand what you think he's doing wrong at the time, you'll acknowledge is right in six months' time. Six months' time. Uh, I mean, look at how lightly he races Phil Foden, the greatest prospect in English football. Where's Phil Foden now for Man City? You know? The Stockport Iniesta is going to be playing at Stockport in two years if he's not careful. Okay, we're off. We are taking on a Borg Parone. Controversial opinions there by about Phil Foden. <laughs> Grealish. Okay, I'm going to say... Grealish, sorry. Gareth Southgate, I'm going to say again. Greatest English manager... No. Greatest manager of England of all time. Not greatest English manager. Ryan, sorry. Uh, greatest manager of England at of all time. Better than Sir Bobby. And that is like a stake through my heart. Um, better than Sir Alf Ramsey, who was before my time. Um, I'm not going to say the greatest coach of England. Terry Venables, great coach. Graham Taylor, great coach. Terrible with England, but great coach. Glenn Hoddle, great coach. I'm going to say the best manager of England of all time. In terms of his management. Oh, his man management. Anyway, look, we can't talk Gareth Southgate. Greeno, you're on the naughty step. We cannot talk Gareth Southgate. Anyway, we're into a game. Uh, we're, we're a minute in. And oh, Harrison Burrows is getting done again at left back. That is something I'm watching now. Why is Harrison Burrows getting routinely run past? Malachi Boateng gives the ball away. Good. Controversial, is it? Controversial? Apologies. Away. Oh, Burrows.
Ah, oh, that's all of our own making. Conte and Kante. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, they, they've, I've noticed they've started saying Ungolo, Kante, Conte. So they are said the same. It's those spellings, though, isn't it? We can't allow it because of the spellings. Uh, this has been a very slow start. Um, it's got to be Big Sam. 100% winning record. Only just. But where were we playing for Big Sam? We were away at Slovakia. I say we, GT. It's not a we for you, is it? I imagine you're part of the Tartan army, but England were playing away. I'm sure it's in Slovakia. And we get... We got a very, very late winner, I think, didn't we? Seems a long time ago now. Chabuzzi. Oh, Dominguez. Oh, Boateng. Oh, there were chances to shoot there, I think. So, Sir Harvey Nibs. He's, he's, he's taking his time to settle, isn't he, Sir Harvey? He normally scores on his debut for for our clubs. This is his fourth debut for us. And he didn't score on it. That's good challenging. Is that Elkin? Who's that? That's Baggett. Notice Elkin Baggett seems to be number 10. Something a little bit awry on the old squad numbering system. Never mind. Just get someone with dysgraphia to write your team sheet. Nibsy, come on. Oh, I thought, I thought he was going to open his French campaign there. He's dropping deep and getting involved, though, as a target forward will. Now watch Nibsy, because he's going to want to hit that box. He's going to want to hit that box. Nibsy! Oh, he's hit the post. Oh, that's the beauty of the target forward on attack. Comes deep, links up play, and then has an eye for goal. Oh, this looks dangerous. This looks dangerous. Hassan over a set piece. Baggett, away. Oh, close down the fullbacks a bit more. Okay. Nothing to see here. Doing all right. Here's Andaba. Let's play out from the back. Here we go. Boateng. Look at our right back. Acres of space. Acres of it. Can we spread the play out wide? We can. Probably to the wrong wing. Never mind. Harrison Burrows wins it, loses it, wins it, tackles his own player, wins it again. Come on, Burrows. That's it. Give it to Chiboto. Through the midfield. Oh, Malachi Boateng, you can't. You're a solid defensive midfielder. You can't just get pushed off the ball there. Here's Nibsy. Burrows won a header, by the way. Nibsy. Just knock it back. Oh, it's two in two for Dominguez. Thank you very much. Goal! It's the shadow striker. It's your shadow striker. I don't want to be playing with a shadow striker, but you lot tell me that they're good. You may well be right here. Camera plays it back. Oh, it's a side-footed volley into the corner of the net. Beautiful bit of play. Goal up. What else is going on around the league? Uh, or Sarah drawing 1-1 with Chateau. And Chambly are going to be tough customers, aren't they? Ron Gre No. Absolutely not. Nowhere near anything I'm typing in there, Greeno. Despicable, despicable human being. Oh, that's wasteful. That is wasteful. Plus, what? You're replacing Sir Bobby? Oh, Sir Bobby. By the way, if only R9 Ronaldo had spent a bit of time in the Premier League. Right, and Nibsy is just... Oh, Nibsy. It's growing into the game. Could have had Cristiano and R9 Ronaldo. Not to be. That's a decent first half. I would like us to be taking more chances. Maybe we'll get a second here. We're into stoppage time. We've fed the left full back. He's got it to Nibsy, who's in again. And has got tackled in the box. And Dominguez, last one over. Ah. Um. Oh, we need the right team talk here. I'm going to say don't get complacent again for the second team talk running. 
Chibozo's playing poorly this time. Nibsy's more influential. Um, okay. Well, we know that we've got a goal-scoring substitute if we want to bring them on. So let's keep an eye on Chibozo. He's not exactly racing into that challenge, is he? Carrie Fisher bought down by Van der Mersch. We need a second goal. I don't. I don't feel confident with this team at one 0 Hassan over a corner. Get up, Baggett's there again. Jumping reach of seventeen. Carrie Fisher, charge down. Get it away again. Carrie Fisher, it's just the return. Okay. Let's have a little look. I think we're going to make an early change. The early change we're going to make is Daniel Sousa on for Chibozo. I'm going to say. And the Mersh not playing well. Neither is Mbida for some reason. Herbert. We've won it. Sousa straight on. Dominguez, the shadow striker, straight into the play. And oh my good lord. No. Do I not like that? Goal. Here we go. Dominguez again. Chance to make up for that absolutely horrific shot at goal. Van der Mersch not playing well, but a good cross could help. It's going nowhere. He's got the ball in. Oh, that is a good effort. That's a chance. Come on, look. We need a second goal while we're dominating here. Orsair still tied. Chambly still winning. Okay. Substitutes coming on in a minute. Boateng booked and tired. He's got to go. And one of the fullbacks, I think, will be the other change. Work to do here, though. Come on. We're a little passive here. Come on. Don't foul. Oh, dear. That's quite weak play. Can't charge it down. Yeah, we'll take that. Shoot from there all day. Okay, 70 minutes. We're going to risk it and make two substitutions. So we're going to say Van der Mersch comes on for Le Plough. And we're going to say Boateng comes off for Salif Gosse. That's our three. I'm assuming it's only three. We should probably check that out, shouldn't we? Oh, no, it's four. Okay, so we've still got one up our sleeves. Always read the league rules, kids, as I do. Take after me. Turns out you can make more than three subs. That would have been good to have known in the last game. Every day is a school day with Football Manager. 75 minutes on the clock. Kolchik has the ball. Here's Corey and Darba. Possibly with Harvey Nibs, the player I have most faith in this season. There's our new right back. Glad we brought him on. Superb. You going to get goal side to your man there? No. No, don't fancy that. Oh, dear. Yeah, there's Corey and Darba. As I said, along with Monsieur Harvey, the player I trust the most. This needs defending. Elkan Bagger has looked very good defending set pieces so far. Can he get up again? He can't. It's Ndaba, who's rapidly becoming like a son to me now. Reminding me of the good life. We need a second goal. Here we go, sir. Oh, Sir Harvey. He was in there. Good header away. I reckon we can shorten the old highlights a little now as well. Let's try and get ourselves through to a full time. We have to take a 1-0. We will. But I'd love a second goal, especially if your feet... Oh. Ah, they didn't work that well at all. It's that team bonding session, isn't it? We need some cohesion. Okay, away. Here we go. Dominguez. Oh, Burrows. Oh, he gives the ball away a lot. Okay. 
Let's do what we did in the last game then, because this is a little bit harem scare Um Let's go. Camera Dominguez. Can Dominguez play in the central areas? No, not at all. Okay. There we go, that works. This needs, so I need to set up a defensive tactic so I can switch back to this, don't I? Um... Let's just see it out. Of course, if they score from this corner, I'm going to have to undo all of that. And I've just brought a more defensive-minded player onto the pitch. Never mind. We're going to head it away. Oh, of course we do. Strong in the air. Just having those three centre-halves. Just need to see this out. Oh, there we go. Come on, then. Let's just breeze through to the end of the game. No drama. There's Orsair a 4-3 up. What a game. Chambly a 2-1 up. Okay, we dug a result out there. That We weren't at our best. That's absolutely right. But we got away with it. We got a win. Okay. Two wins from two. Not look great in either game. We've got Avranche who are six coming up. We might need to bring in a few of the backup players for that as well. Because that's a two-day turnaround time. That's going to be tight. And at what stage do I start panicking? Because Harvey Nibs has not scored in two games. The last time I questioned Harvey Nibs, he then scored a hat-trick. I'm summoning up the criticism of Sir Harvey. Oh, no, Baggett's going to go and play for Indonesia. That's going to be a blow. Oh, at what stage do we start to become concerned that Sir Harvey has not scored? If it goes three games, are we worried? Four games? Five? It's only two. We're not worried yet, are we? We're at. We're not. We're absolutely not worried yet. How long is he going to take to learn that lingo, do you reckon? When will he be basic? Three months? Four months? Well, I've been here about four months. Let's have a look at me. Uh, I've got a bit of basic French. 30th of August. When did I join? May? Ah, there we go. Um, trust in the Nibster. Of course, we never doubt the Nipster. All right, I'm publicly doubting the Nipster, but we should not doubt the Nipster. He was electric in pre-season as well. I thought he was going to just tear into this season. Let's see how he does in the next game against Avranche. If we could make this three wins out of three to start the season with... Start to build up a bit of confidence. Start to build up a bit of team cohesion. I reckon. I reckon we're we're looking good. I'm saying we're going to win the title, but I reckon we could grab second. <laughs> Basic is fair to be generous. Hold on one second. It's maybe the one criticism of the French league is it's it's a little bit uh, boring. Hey. I'm nearly as good as Joey. Okay. Um, what do we want to rotate then? We've got Etienne Kamara. Clearly needs to come out and have a rest. We've got... Harrison Burrows. Okay, so Burrows out for... Uh, 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 Varela. 
I think works. Can Varela actually play that far forward? Oh, he's not great at it. Okay. Ooh, that's a little slip up by me in preseason. Elkin Baggett needs a rest. We get Jeffrey Lottis in. Mm, 5'11. Good positional play. I think we'll be okay. Uh, and then we need to change in midfield. And Salif Gosset seems the obvious choice to me. Passing of 12. Yeah, that's all right. And then what are we doing up front? Nibsy. Mm. Going to need a rest at some point. Let's do that. I think Elkan Baggett's probably too tired for the bench. Let's get Julian Dore on. And Johan Bonny is back, which is interesting. I'm tempted to drop Chibotso. Put Chipotle on the bench. I'm going to do that, actually. There we go. Come on, then. Get some game time into three of those legs. Freshen things up. Going to take on a team who I think are pretty decent. And have a very long name. Union Sportive Avrange Mont Saint-Michel. Gone all out with that name, haven't they? Uh, uh, oh, no. Lottis is nervous. Uh, individuals. Lottis. Trust your son. No, still nervous. Okay. I mean, their goalkeeper has a very nice little salmon outfit today as well. Look out. Here he is. Look, look out for that. Oh, oh Latisse, he's nervous. He's nervous, but I'll tell you what, in the sixth minute, that says the fans love him already. Car X, by the way. Welcome in. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to welcome to the save where we've now moved to France car. And uh, I am just showcasing my extensive French linguistic ability. It's been very, very warmly received by the chat. Some are banding around words like fluent. Oh, we smacked the bar. I, I mean, I wouldn't say fluent myself personally, but welcome in, Alex. Very good to see you. Uh, what, Greeno heard the French. Uh, Mont Saint Michel, best get out of there before the tide drops. Is that a little bit of local knowledge there, Sean? As good as, whoa, 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 as good as McLaren in Holland. Hey. And this is tough. This is a tough job to do. Doing an interview in France, in English, with a French accent. Thank you, David. David appreciates it, you see. It's not easy speaking English in French, in France. With a French accent. Only the best can do it. Here we go. Bonnie, straight back into the team. Straight back onto the score sheet. Le triplé! Eh oui! Trois partout! Pour l'instant, c'est tir au but! Mais il va rester du temps! Is it starting to click a little? Do we call it too early? Botting. Here's one of the plays we brought in. Gosset. Great ball. Bonnie, the other play we brought in. Injured during preseason. He's back up front. He's giving it the chicken dance. 2 0 up at half time. Hold on. Hang on. Oh, hang on. We've gone a bit early with that. We've gone a bit early. Work to do. Oh, hang on. Work to do. Work to do. Okay. Here we go. This could be a counter attacking highlight here. Here's Bonnie. He's not sure what he's up to. He's gone back to his defense. What are you doing here, son? You're playing as a right winger as well. You're meant to be up front. Gosse, he's in again. Dominguez. Sir Harvey's there. Sir Harvey. Get it to Sir Harves. Oh, never mind me. Dominguez will do. Dominguez will do. Thank you very much. Goal! Two becomes three. I like Dusty Bin. Three nil. Thank you. And this is the other play we brought into the side. That's the left back. Dominguez, three and three as a shadow striker, by the way. I hate shadow strikers. You lot said it would work for him. We went through the squad and you said there is no doubt he is a shadow striker. And you're right. Hang on. Oh, we nearly let him back in right on the break here. We're still not that solid at the back, are we? 
Shombly are playing all sad, by the way. They're 2-0 up. That's an early season match of the Titans. I never like this. We've had a lot of shots, so I'm happy. I'm not pleased by mere shots. Thank you very much. Very happy. Keep it going. Oh, they are all rolling in, including the mad scientist. Good morning. Here we go. Greeno with his international knowledge. Great little tourist attraction near Mont Saint Michel. Alex, there you go. That's the that's the, the French accent. By the way, fairly determined, Chris. I don't think you got one. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome in. Great little tourist attraction near Mont Saint Michel called Alligator Bay, uh, or is that Alligator Bay? Maybe take the players there as a treat. If they, yeah, we'll do that. Should we throw in some ice creams? Um, the mad scientist. Welcome in the mad scientist, the Prince of Denmark. The King of Aarhus is with us. I don't. I'd imagine you're working away as well, aren't you, Mad? Are you? Are you? Are you on the verge of uh, working on another extension to your 9899 database? Of course, you've just. Oh no, they're back in already. Mad has just added Argentina. That's the latest one, isn't it, Mad? I've seen that. Did I see a little tweet, Mad? Ten thousand downloads. Of the Argentinian mod to your 9899 database since you launched it. 10,000. Unbelievable. Okay, that's not good. Clean sheet's gone again. Working on a couple of new leagues. I bet you can't tell us either, can you? I bet you it's top secret. Don't don't you spoil any surprises, but I knew you'd be working on something. Ah, oh, that'll do. That'll do. Come on. Le triple! A lot of those downloads by Argentinian FM players, are they? I mean, 10,000. I tell you what, Mad, this is not a little flex. We're not flexing here. But how many downloads has your database had in total now? Let us know. How many in total downloads have you had? I bet it's going to be an eye-watering number. We're 4-1 up. We could make some changes here in a moment. Oh, we nearly 5-1 up as well. Corian Darber heads across the goal. Here's Umbida. All right, a little bit of fancy footwork. Dominguez. Dominguez has really impressed me. Here's the left back that's come in for Bugsy Burrows. He's impressed me as well. He can't even play as a left wing back. Lotis. I mean, he's done a good job. Here we go. Bonnie's in. He's headed one from the edge of the box. Ambitious. Granted, ambitious. If you can't have a go from the outside of the box with your head at 4-1, when can you do it? Okay. Corinne Darber needs a break. He's out for Julian Dorr. Uh, Malachi Boateng needs a break. He's out for Warren Bondo. We're going to rotate those two around. Harvey Nibs, you need a break. So now it's not quite going for you at the moment in France. You're closing in on 75,000. Your record is 0102 with 120,000. But I'd imagine, Mad, whereas for the rest of us, the longer we go into the game cycle, they're kind of like the harder it becomes to get views on content. Because people have kind of like played their, their first ideas of saves and a tiring of the game a little bit. For you, the longer we go into the game cycle, the more downloads you're going to get. As People look for something different. So they, you know, they finished their regular save and now they're looking for something different. So they turn to you. So you're going to smash 120,000 easy. What are we in now? We're in back end of May, June, July, August, September, October. Five months. How long's your database been out? Three months? Four? Five months to get an extra what? 50k? Easy. 4-1. I'm going to say that's our best performance of the season. Well done, lads. And I tell you, we're three from three now. That's nine points. Let's see how the other two biggies did at the top of the league. We got Chambly, and they've they've smarted all Sarah, I think, haven't they? Um, three nil. Okay, Chambly by far and away the best team in this division. 
We're backing it up. Grenoble and Set both look pretty good. All there, we know, are a big side. They've got players in their reserves that we couldn't quite afford to bring in. So we know that they're good. But I tell you what, I'll take second after three games. Something to build on. I don't think all of those games have been the easiest size that we've been playing either. And we're getting to grips with a back three, which I'm an absolute novice at. Star of the stream, I think, has got to be Brandon Dominguez. Four goals in three games. 30-year-old who we've moved off the wing to be a shadow striker, I think. He's done us proud, hasn't he? Well, anyway. Back into the full time. Back into the full time. What a wonderful little turnout from people today. We have had 150 different people come and check us out during the stream. Simon Thornley, you're right. 23 likes from 151 visitors. Seems a little light, doesn't it? A little light. Uh, got no game. Dream start, I think you're right. And marshaled by Corian Darber, the Irishman. Got no game. Of course, we're making a dream start with some Irish players. Well done on picking our best ever Premier League 11 who all have the same name as somebody else in the squad yet aren't related to them. That's going to take a lot of Twitter characters to explain that one. We're going to be back on Friday again, 1 p.m. UK time. Try and work out whatever that is in your part of the world. Have a beautiful end to your week. We're going to see you on Friday where we're going to beckon in the most glorious of weekends. We look forward to seeing you very, very soon. And we might even have played on a few matches by then. And we'll see whether we are in contention for promotion in our first full season at Red Star Parry.